In a previous video, I showed you how to create an auto-translation rule in MemoQ in order to have proper nouns recognized as placeables. So it worked quite well with an English sentence that contained entities like Manchester United or Zlatan Ibrahimovic. But what if we have German as a source language and we have a sentence such as this one? Well, it does not work as well. So as we can see here, since in German, all common nouns start with a capital letter. We have words like uh, Val Desastern or Partei that were included in the translation results. And these are kind of false positives because we don't want to insert them as is. And therefore, we will need to modify our auto translation rule. So let's go to Project Home, Settings, Auto Translation Rules. And here I will create a second rule. So I'll select this one. I'll use the clone use new feature. I will call it the same, but with German at the end. And now I will modify this rule with edit. And by the way, this auto translation rule was not invented by myself. It was kindly suggested by our colleague uh, Stanislav Arvat. I don't know Russian, so I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Stanislav is the author of uh, Translator Tools, a very nice set of uh, utilities that work as a collection of word macros that I highly recommend. I have made uh, one video showing how to use the document cleaner feature of uh, translation tools in order to get rid of unneeded tags, but it has plenty of uh, useful features. So I really recommend you give it a try. There are two versions, a free one and a professional one that costs about 20 euros. It's definitely well spent money. So I really recommend you get a copy of that. So back to our rules. So what I will do here, I will change the last two digits at the end. So basically what these two digits mean is the following. Zero means one word, one means two words, and two means three words. I know it's not very intuitive, but it's the way it is. So if I don't want to have single words identified as placeables, I will replace zero with one. And now with this rule, I will only have two consecutive words or three consecutive words that are capitalized, identified as placeables. So let's click on OK. And let's go back to our document. I will close it and I will reopen it. And here is what happened. Now, instead of all these false positives, I only have Angela Merkel recognized as a placeable. Obviously, I would have liked to have Berlin and uh, mecklenburg vorpommern recognized as placeables, but they are now gone. So you can't have it all. So there you have it. How to fine tune our auto translation rule for placeables in order to better accommodate source languages as German. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content aimed at translators. Also hit the like button if you found this video useful. Use comments below this video if you have any questions or feedback and see you in the next one.